Welcome to a classic Lost Place graffiti video. Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and today we are in a room of the factory that you have never seen before and I love this wall so much. I will put you over here so that you have an idea about the size. And this is the wall that we want to paint today. But first of all we need to clean up. Fill in outlines and blocks, background. Let's start with the first lines. I take just greenery for no reason. At first I wanted to go over this one, but this throw up looks so nice. So I won't go over this. And this, <laughs> this is already art, I would say. I can't go over this as well. And um, I will paint over this and uh, give some props to Tom and also, um, I think this throw up was from Note, from Note over there, he's a local. And by the way, this guy, this is Christian, he's a professional cameraman and he wants to edit a video about me doing videos. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit like the, the meta version of this video. I will link the video at the end of this video so that you can see it, but it will be in German. So it's all only for the German friends and followers. And I also prepared a sketch. This one over here. It is uh, pretty complicated, but I love the flow so much that I thought I need to paint this to the wall. Your friends and followers and voiceover smo is here as well to give you necessary extra information about this project and after last week's video i just wanted to paint a classic graffiti in my beloved abandoned place in belgium for the background i used a wild mix of leftover bucket paint that turned out to be a dark green at the end and to make it all look nice and clean I took care that the wall is properly painted at all four sides. And at the bottom I took this board to protect the roller so that it doesn't soak up all the dirt and dust from the ground. Background done, time for the fill-in. As this project was meant to be for the documentary of Christian from Klokola, I did not want to go too crazy. My idea was to paint something that really represents me as a graffiti artist. I was thinking about something similar to the wall that I painted in Brazil. A real classic flowish smo style with nice shadows, effects and super clean details. But while two cameramen were recording what I'm doing over there, I was really challenged to trust the process because at this stage the graffiti just looks like a piece of crap and only people who are deeply into style writing are able to imagine what this muddy something will look like at the end. And while painting Smo still does the fill-in, I want to use the time to lead you through the letters. For sure, this graffiti will say my name. Smo. S-M-O-E. Pretty easy letters that create this flowish composition with a lot of extra elements all around it. But instead of painting every letter in a different color, I decided to go with a nice fading from dark gray at the bottom 
over dark and middle red values to a real shiny orange at the top. After about an hour the fill-in was done and as usual I was using just enough paint so that it looks clean in the final result. And as I try to save paint wherever I can, I paint the shadows within the block first and do the fill-in of the box afterwards. On this way I can put as much paint besides each other instead of on top of each other, if the top layer is the only visible layer anyways. So I have to imagine the blocks would be filled in pink already and I fill all holes in a darker pink at the end and put dark pink cast shadows of higher parts of the letters on the blocks below. And now we can finally start with the outlines. <laughs> It is so nice to see everything come together and for me the part that is just work ends when I can finally start doing the outlines and effects. Now the parts of the process begin that I really enjoy, especially when proportions are on point and I have a strong foundation for this wall and I can play around. But sometimes I notice at this stage that I still have to adjust some flows. But like I love to say, it is just paint. You can paint over everything at any time. So I take the bucket paint and adjust the M and the S to finally do the shadows within the fill-in. Of course, this isn't the only shadow that I want to apply to the piece. It needs to have a cast shadow on the wall as well and to make it more interesting I have to add a second layer to the background first so that the dark green background gets military green as the shadow and the long green of that wobbly shape becomes fern green when it crosses the military green cast shadow on the wall. But don't worry. I will add a graphic at the end of this video with all colors that I used for this piece so that you can use the same or get some inspiration from it. And after the shadow there comes light. With signal white I add a highlight on the blocks and also on the outlines that are facing to the natural light source which is in this case um, the window. And to increase the contrast within the shadow even a little bit more I added black red to the ancient pink shadow of the blocks. This makes it look even sharper and with more contrast. For the section lines I used the tiny pink stencil cap and it was finally time to add some designs and give the piece the last extra special stuff. <laughs> starts to crack because the glow wants to go out. <laughs> I really sometimes make sounds like that because I just have to imagine 
the sound of the piece like it is just right in front of the moment to crack and explode like yeah and of course I added um, some stickers to give some greetings to um, the people who helped me and yeah who I would love to give some greetings to just spread some respect and love and also the smiley sticker because yeah stuff like that really makes me so happy and if you want to surprise someone as well Christmas is coming soon and there are still some high quality fine art prints in my shop and on December the first, I will unlock 10 new personalized black and white sketches with the name or word of your choice. So please check out my shop smonova.de or use the link in the description. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. I love it. Oh, this is so much fun to do this. And of course, a big thanks to my helpy gang on it's Patreon. All for the great effect at the end. And why I put bitumen on the floor as the last step, you will see in a second. This is, and don't forget to like the subscribe button, the final result! channel with a lot of dope free spray cans. I hope that you were a little bit entertained and I hope to see you in the next project. Yo, and if you want to paint the same colors, make a screenshot now. And I nearly forgot the props to Tom, but I didn't. Das ist das liegt daran, die Linie da drüber ist krumm.